My name is Kevin Nunes. I'm an associate professor in psychology here at Carleton University. My lab is called the Aggressive Cognitions and Behavior Research Lab. Our main goal is to advance knowledge about the role of various cognitions in the initiation and persistence of violent behavior. We study sexual violence as well as non-sexual violent behavior. We do our research using a number of different populations, different methods, and different measures. So a lot of our research is done with students here in the lab. We also do research with incarcerated offenders in prisons. In terms of methods, we use the standard observational or correlational methods. For example, we'll look to see the extent to which attitudes towards violence are associated with past violent behavior. These kind of studies are great and a lot of our knowledge base is, is from those sort of studies. But we also use experimental methods um, in which we'll actually manipulate a variable that we're interested in to see its effect on, say, attitudes towards violence. This experimental research is a really nice complement to the more observational or correlational work because it actually allows us to test some causal relations that are put forth in, in theories and in models about, about the processes involved in violent offending. In terms of measures, we use standard self-report measures that are really common in, in psychology. These measures are great. We want to know what people think about violence. Well, a good place to start is just asking them, what do you think about violence? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? We also complement these measures with, with indirect approaches. So the indirect measures, uh, they're indirect in the sense that we don't come right out and ask people what they think about violence. Rather, we infer what they think about violence from their performance on various tasks. So for example, we'll ask people to categorize pictures or words and we'll record their reaction time on each of those categorizations. From the pattern of reaction times on the different elements of the task, we'll infer the extent to which they view violence positively or negatively, for example. So these indirect measures are great and a really nice complement to the self-report measures. Uh, one reason they're good is they have a lot of appeal in forensic and correctional settings where people are often skeptical about the honesty of offenders in their self-report measures. I, I think the bigger contribution of these indirect measures though is that they seem to provide independent information to what you get from self-report measures. So both seem to be good but each one tells us something a little bit different and we get more from looking at them together than we get from each of them alone. So obviously the more we can understand about what we're trying to study, the better off we are. I like to think that we occupy a, a, a niche um, along with just a few researchers that are looking at more basic questions about violent behavior. Most of the research in the area is looking at much more applied frontline kind of issues. For example, does this assessment instrument accurately predict recidivism? Or does our treatment program actually reduce reoffending? Right, so these are obviously really important questions, really pressing questions. But equally important are the more basic fundamental questions. These kind of questions about the underlying causes of violent behavior, these are the questions that form, uh, they, they, they contribute to a foundation that forms a strong base for the more frontline assessment and treatment work. So ultimately, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out the extent to which various cognitions are involved in violent behavior, how these cognitions are involved in violent behavior, and for whom this is the case. Our hope, obviously, is that this research contributes to better assessment, better treatment, and that's obviously better for the community as a whole, including victims and offenders. Thank you.